Elevator, noun, a small space crammed with strangers. While everyone appears relatively collected and nonchalant, there's plenty to be uncollected and completely chalant about. While waiting for the elevator to come, go ahead and press the button even if it's already lit. While you're at it, better make sure the doors are the right temperature and everyone's shoelaces are nice and tight. If the car arrives at your floor and it's too full for you to get on, there will be a moment after the initial realization that you won't fit, but before the elevator doors close. You may notice that the down button has gone out and get the idea to press it again. Warning! Doing this will make the doors of the full car pop back open, confirming that the guy who sighed audibly when he first saw you was right all along. This guy accidentally pushed the button for the wrong floor, and now he has seconds to decide whether he's going to admit his mistake in front of all of these people. His other option is to save face by getting off on the wrong floor to wait for the next car, or simply starting a new life there. The most conspicuous button on every elevator panel is the emergency stop button. Please note, there are no emergencies that are improved by sealing yourself in a mine shaft in a metal box full of strangers. The only known purpose for this button is so that people in movies can have sex with each other. Yeah. When boarding a crowded elevator to ride only a single floor, please act like you're in a hurry and walk quickly after exiting, at least until the doors have closed behind you. When encountering a foul odor, the polite response is a facial expression that says to everyone, I didn't do this, but I'm not judging you if you did, because you obviously have a medical condition. If you have a friend who speaks too loudly, one simple trick is to give them some ice cream right before you get on. Another is to make some new, better friends. The decision of whether to hold the doors with the door open button or by putting an arm in the doors and manually keeping them open is a matter of personal taste. You want everyone to know that you weren't hitting the door close button, but you also don't want to make a big showy gesture of it. Well, you try to decide, the doors will shut and the elevator will leave. You know how the elevator makes that awful noise when you hold the doors open too long? Well, that's like it's rape whistle. And I hate to be the one to tell you, but in this metaphor, you're the rapist. In the end, there's really only one rule to riding the elevator. Face the doors. Do it because everybody else does. Do it because that's the way it's always been. But mostly, do it because if you're already facing the exit, you'll be free that much more quickly. And if you can't follow that simple rule, please take the stairs.